<laughs> well, we can check another thing off the list of thinking you've recorded and you haven't, and you've recorded an entire GeoGuessr video only for it not to actually record, so it didn't even count, but whatever, guys. Welcome to Hobby Fist. I'm an idiot, hoping to remember to record as I, I, I even swear I looked at the screen multiple times to see if it was recording and I just didn't see it. But that round went bad that I was in where I only got 15,000 points because I got stumped by a Italy one that turned out to be... Um, that I couldn't tell because I didn't find any enough information, so this didn't help me. Well, let's just keep going this way. Um, yeah, and I'm just a little flustered now because that's my own fault for not realizing that it didn't record. Because I'm, I'm just, I'm just dumb. That's that's the only way to put it. So in the meantime, let's see if we can't see any Celadon. I feel we're in the U.S. I just don't know where. Or at least in North America. In in this this screams the West. I'm just hoping that this oh wait, that's at eighty kilometers. Wait, what does this say? Mexico ten, so Well thankfully that road marker was there. I did see the eighty kilometers that just happened to be on the uh on the right hand side, so now I have to find Highway 10. Okay. So the only plus now is I can actually talk about all the stupid shit I talked about last time, because. Uh, okay, so there's the 10, but where does the 10 go and end? Is it only this section? That's 230 kilometers, though. This does not feel like. I feel like. The 10 is, like, combined with another highway here. I'm not entirely sold. They like bundling roads together. We are heading south. Well, we are heading southeast. Okay, so... Where was the 10 again? You know, I was concerned I was going to lose where the friggin' 10... There's the 10. We're heading southeast in this direction, so I feel we're heading down there. I'm just going to click there for now and see if I can't find any more information. Uh oh, the only problem is now me trying to remember what the hell I talked about, other than really, really dumb shit. I mean, I, I, I'm i trying to think, and the only thing I can think of is the terrible video uh, chant. I mean, I'm just bumbling now. The only things I remember watching that were that seeing when I was a uh, kid, man, this is just going me tumbling over myself being like there's 4,000 things I want to say and it's going through a very tiny hole in my brain and it's just what the hell happened here club clustered up together like I saw a really good store that said the you fuck market that was somewhere in Turkey if you happen to find it there kudos to you that was funny um talked about Scary shit. Things that I found scary when I was a kid that even now, like, if I tried watching it, I'm like, well, this is dumb. Like, I think the reason why I thought things were as scary as they were because I never even was able to watch it. Like, the fact that my parents were like, you're not allowed to watch this just implanted into my head. It's like, well, this thing must be really scary because I'm not allowed to watch it. Like, my sister would have friends over at her house. Wait, this is 227. We are heading away so maybe we're up here more i'll just say well, let's just make the guess wow i was pretty close i'm gonna give myself five stars there we go um as i was saying this feels like australia maybe Th the things just seemed way scarier in my head because i wasn't allowed to see it and my sister would have friends over, and they would uh, watch movies, but the way the living room was set up... Oh, well, this is definitely... Okay. The way the living room was set up, actually, to get through it, to get to the bedrooms, you didn't have to actually, like, walk through the entirety of the living room. You could just, like, go around one end, and what they would do is they would position the TV and the couch facing away from the path of me actually being able to see the screen, 
which I got real jealous because, again, things I can't watch, I wanted to see it, but of course my sister, she was being a sibling, and what siblings do is tattle if you try to watch it, so I didn't bother with it. And also, the idea of, it's scary enough, they don't want me to see it, there must be a reason, so it must be real scary, so I didn't. So I didn't see any of those movies as a kid, and it kind of just stuck with me, like, I don't really see much in the way of scary movies anymore. Like, I'll watch it, but there's always going to be that, I think about it before I go to bed type thing. And where the hell are we? Man, this is... I I'm racking my brain trying to figure out where the hell this is, but... Like, say, when I was watching The Blair Witch, I definitely knew that that was, okay, maybe... Why are you walking this road? This is a long-ass road, buddy. I don't see any houses or anything anywhere. This is now... S Where the hell are we? Like, Blair Witch, never watched... Uh, I did watch it in the theater when it came out. My sister was convinced it was real because no one can cry and scream like that. And I was like, no, they were just acting, Laura. That, that, that wasn't actually... This is a sign? That... Looks like those, um, trees they have in, uh, what the hell are they called in, in, in Africa? Oh, we're on the N6, okay. There's things in Africa, the big, big trees, I can't remember what they're called. Oh, we gotta zoom in quite a bit to get to these. Oh boy, that's a... Oh, where's the N? Ours, ours, A20, A20, A2, back up a bit more, uh, 406, Aliwap, I've seen Bloemfontein before, I have, it's, uh, Bloemfontein, I believe was in this area, there, that's Refontein, so I think it's in this area, I'm gonna click here before I, forget to put a marker down but even as I, I, I we watched Blair Witch I went home I was like eh, it's a pretty good movie pretty spooky ending there and went to bed and of course as I'm lying in bed of course you're gonna start thinking about it Ellie well not Bloomfontein so that's a long way away so I'm lying in bed and like okay it's just going in your head of all the stuff it's dark out you're seeing shit because so what your brain does, your brain's a dick to you. It'll start thinking of spooky shit, and what if it's gonna happen to you? Was Bloemfontein on the border? Twee River. B3, C10, B1, C1. Aliwal North. Are we in this country? No, we can't be. I think I was right. I feel like I'm just jumping back and forth between... Uh... Well, let's see how close I am. Well, I got the country right, but... Oh, it's a fucking massive, massive friggin' country. Not country. City. Oh, well, I'll give myself three stars for that. It's all feel like the same exact photo. I can't remember what the first one was, but it was Mexico. Never mind. Okay. I don't know where this is yet. These are all just long strips of highway in foreign countries. Um, so I would sit there and think about the movie, try not to have dreams about it. I'm sure a couple of times that happened. And I'd have little nightmares and it would scare me. But just, even if I went back to watch it, it's just this attachment I had to it when I was a kid about like, oh, this is scary. And then even watching it, I'd be like, this is dumb. But I'll still think, go into it and like, ooh, this is spooky. It's that primitive child brain I had of like these things are still scary it's gonna be in your head I did see a sign I think and that also kind of blends into things that you would be scared uh touristico this is a tourist circle that's a logo for something like if you had like no real rational reason for being scared of the thing you were as a kid but it just ended up being the case that you were scared of it like kids who were castle de canyon mm. well this is blurred out 
Kilometer 238, okay. Is this Mexico again? But things you would be scared of as a kid, you have no real reason to be scared of it. Like, I mean, I understand phobias of people who are scared of clowns, but I'm just one of those people who's like, it's a clown. Clowns are supposed to be uh, fun. Fun-loving. They're funny. You're supposed to giggle and laugh. They're goofy. But it's, I, I get some people are scared of clowns. I never did. But at the same time of going, really? You're scared of that? I would... I, I talk about things I would be scared of, and I tell you, it's like, this one music video by Herbie Hancock. You can look it up. It's probably the only one that he's, he's super popular for in the uh, late 80s, I believe it was. I forget what it was called, but it was just nothing but, like, robots and animatronics. And just for some reason... Tornquist? Oh, we're getting up to some information here, finally. It just unsettled me when I'd watched the video. I couldn't watch it. Wait, now is this actually Europe? La Laguna Incan... Oh, wait, we're down here, aren't we? Park North... Fuck! This is not helping. Okay, maybe these will... I got a minute left. I feel I can make enough of a... Uh... Deduction from here, I think. Maybe not. Villa Ventana. Uh, man. GNC. Can't make that out. Okay, I don't know. Uh, let's go here. What's this sign say? Let me go on that road. You're not letting me on that road. I need to be on that road. You're not letting me on the road. Let me move forward a bit. Uh, Route 33. Okay, I got a... Fuck. I got a road, but... Bahia Blanca. Man, this, this is going to be... I am... Not going to be happy with this. I'm just going to click here. Bahia Blanca. Oh, Bahia Blanca. There we go. I found it. I got so goddamn lucky. Make guess. Okay. Nailed it. Sweet. Give me one sec. I have to shut a door. I got very lucky. And I saw that with like three seconds to spare. I don't even know if I should... <laughs> give myself the points being like no you didn't see that until it was too late but that's the whole point of this game so that would just be silly if I didn't do that oh god I guess I earned this after that score but yeah you go watch that video now you can be like you thought this was scary this is silly there's nothing scary about this like I know but I, had, I was a kid I was dumb Things scared me. I have no explanation for it other than child me saw this, didn't like this. Like, maybe there's a stuffed animal that everyone loved, and you just happened to be that one kid who found Teddy Ruxpin scary. You know, when you clap and dance, you move around, and it's just, maybe it was scary to you. It made a weird noise with those little robot joints. Or the voice Teddy Ruxpin had when he would tell stories to you. Although I never got that because my parents couldn't afford it. Although they did give me the one that clap, that danced whenever you clap with it, so maybe they just put their money in other places. Pick their battles, so to speak. That, welcome, this says welcome to something. They're welcome to Lancelot, Laplot, Laundromat. Oh, that, I may be able to make this out to US 40? Is that US 40? Well, we're in the U.S., I'm going to say. Is there a 40? I'm going to see if there's a 40. There's a 49. There's a 40. So maybe I'll just click on here, and we'll just go from there, because... How long is the 40? The 40 is a very long highway, so this does not help me. Yeah, the 40 is very long. It could be even the 43. I could have the wrong friggin' 
I don't want to be in here. I want to be in there. Am I not allowed? I guess I'm not allowed. Got two minutes to try to get better vision. Speed limit 60. 40 is huge, though. Maybe I should just put it in north in, in te North Texas here. Kind of split the difference a bit. Because this is just arid shrubland. Which could be New Mexico, could be Texas, could be Arizona. Could be Nevada, could be California. How many other states can I list that it could be? I mean, none of these are going to really help me. Oh, now we're getting a little better, or am I just seeing shit? I don't know, but I doubt I'm going to get any. This feels like a thing, however. No, it doesn't help me. I need just to be close enough to a root sign to help me. And I'm not getting it. Uh, man, it's just like, okay, we got a good, 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 terrible, 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 good photo, good, well, good for what it is. Just have to make do, I guess. Um, I don't know if there was anything else that scared me as a kid. Like, things you'd think would scare me. Like, oh, now we're getting back into that grocery thing of the local grocery store had a, B, uh, a rental space. Or you either rental or you could buy VHSs they had there. And it was filled with nothing but, like, early 80, mid-80 horror schlock stuff. Like, I remember there was Critters. Critters too. They had video, like, boxes. I was always look in the back of them. Just because they would always show photos. And I would just look at them because they're pictures. I like looking at pictures. I do remember... Like, I can't remember the name of them, but I remember the... Well, let's just see where I am. Okay, we're all the way up there. That was awful photos, one star. Uh, we got some information right off the bat here. This is... France. The, uh, boxes, I always look at them. D86, how far do I gotta go into... La Chapelle, D86. I gotta look at the box art. That's really all I do. How many more times am I gonna say fucking box art? <laughs> the... Like, one of the covers, I can't remember what the movie was called, but on the cover was either a rotting... Like, it was just a hand by itself. There was nothing else. It was all green. And it was either putting a finger or it was holding a key and it was putting it into a door. No idea what the movie's about. I just remember seeing the cover for it. Uh, there was another one that had to do with a horror movie in a grocery store. I just remember the cover of the thing. To me, again, I'm remembering this from a very long time ago. It had a uh, shopping bag on it. And it had, like, knives and body parts. And it was all blood and shit just on the, uh, on the cover. And I would just look at this stuff as a kid. I had no problem with it. I'm sure... Maybe it did some to me. I didn't... I just looked at it. I never associated it with anything other than, the, like... These are weird. Huh. Never had any interest in seeing it. They didn't scare me in any way. But, I mean, I, I'm... Why am I looking... I'm, I'm too obsessed with... I'll just put, like, here, and then we'll go from here. This is nice. Well, we're in a mountainous area, so that kind of puts us probably... If I had to guess, maybe over here. Camera, it's, it's, it's struggling a bit. I'll put us over here, maybe. Anywhere in the hilly areas. D86, D9, D50. Ninety-two. nope, 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 nope. Okay, so we're going to just click around here. And Wait, did I see any? I'm just like, these are small enough that I don't think they're going to. Uh, and this is really nice. I mean, this is kind of either spring or fall. It's not that great, but it's still a nice view. Let's keep going. Ooh. I mean, I, I, I was going to keep talking about stupid things I'd see as a kid and stupid things I keep remembering, but I kind of like, kind of like looking at this. This is on Giroad, huh? I don't think I'm going to find it anywhere on here. S86. 
83. Well, it's 83, but that's not what I'm looking for. Hmm, excuse me. But it's dumb the things that you actually do keep remembering and things that you don't. Like, I wish I could remember street names, people I meet at work, people I meet hanging out, but no. I have zero problem remembering a trailer I watched for a remake of The Blob that was on HBO in the late 80s of a guy in a phone booth trying to call for help with The Blob actually on the outside of the phone booth glass trying to get in and it was all goopy and slimy. I have no problem remembering that because I'm a... I wish I just could tell my brain, no, that's not important. Remember other dumb stuff. Like, remember to always set your alarm in the morning. Don't, don't like, uh... Remember your, uh, your, uh, one home run you had in Little League. Don't remember that one time your dad yelled at you because you didn't, whoa, I guess I ran out of time. <laughs> uh, we're, we're struggling zooming in here. I feel like I saw that and didn't think anything of it. Whatever. We'll give it three stars. What's my summary? Pretty close. This one was real bad just because... Image quality was terrible, and I did remember to record this one. I feel a little bad that I didn't record the other ones. You can see it was just so terrible that I was 15-something or other, but hey. You have only me to blame, because I'm the reason it didn't work, but it don't matter. Thank you all for watching, folks. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this one, and uh, check out some of the other stuff on the channel. We would like it very much. If you have any other comments or any other shit that scared you irrationally as a child, put it in the comments below. I'm always interested to hear that stuff. If you haven't seen it, go see that Herbie Hancock video. That's weird. Or if you've, even if you know the name of some of those other movies I was talking about that I saw as a kid, put it in the description below. I'd like to look at it and be like, ha, this is so cheesy. But for everyone here at uh, Hobby Fist, uh, to all of you out there, have a good day and we will see you next time.